They call it the glacier that bleeds, a wound carved into the coldest place on Earth. And when you first see it, it doesn't look real. A white wall of ancient ice, split open. And from the crack pours a river of deep scarlet red, staining the frozen landscape like something alive is dying beneath it. This place is known as Blood Falls, and it sits on the edge of Antarctica's Taylor Glacier, one of the oldest, most remote, and most hostile environments on the planet. Temperatures here can drop so low that even steel becomes brittle. Nothing should move, nothing should flow, nothing should bleed, but it does. For decades, explorers had no explanation. There are no animals here, no plants. No iron mines or red sediments above the falls. Just ice and millions of years old, untouched, sealed away since before humans even existed. So where is the Red River coming from? The first explorers thought the color meant something had died under the glacier. A massive, ancient creature. Maybe even an entire ecosystem leaking out of the ice. Others believed it was a sign of something supernatural. A warning written across the frozen cliffs. Some early journals even described it as the glacier purging its secrets. But the truth is stranger than all the theories. Deep under the glacier, deeper than any drill could reach for decades, lies a pocket of ancient water, trapped for over one and a half million years. It has never seen sunlight. It has never touched oxygen. But something survived inside it. A hidden world. A microscopic ecosystem that should not be alive. The red color doesn't come from blood. It comes from iron locked inside that ancient water. When the water finally escapes through tiny cracks in the glacier and hits the air, it oxidizes instantly. It rusts right before your eyes. It means that a secret ocean has been living beneath the glacier for a million years, sealed in a world with no light, no warmth, and no fresh oxygen. Yet life adapted and survived anyway. Blood Falls is a reminder that life doesn't follow our rules and that the most hostile places on Earth might be hiding worlds we've never seen and barely understand. And if life can survive down there, in total darkness surrounded by salt and iron, then what else could survive in places we haven't reached yet?